This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's uh, let's keep it going here with some other news and notes. Let's talk about the fact that they're running this Rusev, Summer Ray, Lana, Dolph Ziggler storyline, but allegedly, when in real life Rusev and Lana post about their engagement on Instagram, Vince was furious. Do you remember hearing about this? Oh yeah, it was pretty tense. Um, it was one of those things they're trying to pitch a storyline on TV, but it gets exposed. It, you know, is just being just that. You know, it's it's hard for me to actually even have an opinion because the minute I go old school and go, they shouldn't have did that, then entire companies or groups of people are exposing the business, you know, on the other side of the tracks. So I don't know what to think, to be honest with you. What do you remember about, uh, you know, Vince's feelings on it? Did, I mean, where is the line, you know, because it, I could see how it could be confusing to, uh, to a young guy when, you know, they're showing the undertaker on the WWE network and referring to him as Mark Calloway. And he's often been the most guarded and, in this same era, we know that Glenn Jacobs is going to, you know, make a run to be mayor, but he's also the, the demon from hell Kane. I can see how maybe that would be confusing. Do you think Rusev and Lana should have quote unquote known better? Or do you get my perspective that maybe it could be a little confusing considering how everything else seems to be getting a pass? Well, you know, I hate the fact that anything gets out there. You know, I hate the fact that tape shows get exposed before they air. All your, we're giving away the secrets and we're giving away the entertainment value of our company and the product we're producing. We're our own worst enemy. Okay? It, it's entertainment. We all get it. But it's just like within the confines of a television show or a live event, let's go out there and let's make them believe for two hours and 40 minutes or whatever it is that we've got some contests going on. We got some fights going on. We got a competition going on and let's stick to that instead of beating the audience over the head with this just entertainment. We're our, we're our own worst enemy uh, in that category. But I agree with you a hundred percent. You know, we should keep everything close to the vest. Social media is very powerful and I'm learning that a little bit along every week. It's very powerful tool. It can, it can destroy people. It can lift people up. It can do a lot of different things, you know, but let's leave it out of our storylines. Let's get to the next match. Um, we got Dolph Ziggler working with Rusev 13 minutes and 44 seconds. Meltzer liked it. He gave it three stars. He says summer Ray was on the apron yelling and ended up taking a bump, flipping into the ring due to Ziggler. She was kicked out of ringside by the referee. He took off one of her heels and threw it at the ref who moved and it nailed Rusev that distracted Rusev. who was then pinned after the zigzag. Rusev was furious and stormed out of the ring, walking right past summer Ray Ziggler walked out without her as well. It should be noted. Summer Ray was wearing earrings and they pushed the idea that those were given to her by Ziggler. The match had good heat. I got to tell you, there's some pretty silly shit around the match, but I thought the match itself was great. I even like the finish. It's uh, something we hadn't seen a ton of. I dug it. What'd you think? I think anybody that believes Dolph Ziggler reached in his pocket and pulled his wallow out wallet out to spend one dime is full of shit. He's tighter than Dick's hat band. Are you kidding me? <laughs> he has popped for nothing. That aside, he can also have a match with anybody. And uh, Rusev was, you know, a guy that was coming along and figuring the business out and getting better. You know, from a physicality standpoint, I'm sure Dolph made Rusev looked like a monster, probably unparalleled at any point prior to this. That's one of Dolph's strengths. He makes everybody's stuff just look like a kill shot. So, yeah, I can see where people would like to match. I'm sure on paper 
it looks good, and I'm sure in practice it was good. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.